hi welcome back to rebecca's travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel hi welcome back to rebecca's lifestyle hi how are you all doing i hope everybody's as well as possible um, today I'm going to be doing a budget travel special, uh, 10 exciting facts at July 2024 part 1. So if you haven't subscribed uh, to my travel and my lifestyle channel on YouTube, please subscribe and a big thumbs up and thank you for doing so. I really appreciate it. I love talking about travel and lifestyle and um, today um, there's been a combination of uh, weather mostly dry and um, sunny um, earlier on in the morning um, here in North West Leicestershire UK but touch wood um, we haven't had some rain any rain today which is uh, brilliant news um, I'm getting the information uh, from inews.co.uk. Chelsea Dickinson um, is the travel expert and has wrote, uh, wrote an article. Um, so uh, let's jump right into it. And I've mentioned uh, these uh, before uh, mostly. Um, but um, it'll be exciting uh, to have a recap, um, I thought. So, number one, uh, go all-inclusive. Going all-inclusive can help you um, save money in the long term, especially if you're um, planning to stay in a hotel. Uh, book an all-inclusive package holiday and uh, number two uh, travel in the shoulder season if you can outside the school holidays and the shoulder season is um, between say april and june it is cheaper and also september then july and august Um, number three, how swapping um, were among um, tactics uh, many Britons uh, used to control um, their budgets. So, um, swap houses with, say, like friends or families. Um, Uh, so you're not paying out for accommodation and um, number four be flexible uh, being willing to tweak your holidays and preferences can save you a lot of money you uh, you may have already known that skyscanner lets you search everywhere to find the cheapest flights so that's a good uh, tool to get um, if you're flying um, skyscanner uh, number four, uh, plan uh, for spontaneously. Great deals can disappear fast. So, I would say, uh, say think about which countries or places you want to um, tra uh, visit and travel to and the types of holidays uh, you would like to try and most importantly how much money uh, you have to spend and um, that's the most important at least your, your budget not going over budget and uh, number five focus on daily costs such as accommodation car hire food drink activities and um, everyday prices um use numero uh, which um is a cost of living index um with with more than eleven thousand cities across the world and um, it, it it gives you the average prices for things like beer, coffee and public transport. 
um, so it's a good way to get the the average uh, prices or the daily living costs and um, number six refuse to pay a penny more uh, with low-cost airlines first uh, pack as light as you can avoid the extra luggage fees opt for items you can wear several times uh, and also uh, make and write a list of out outfits and um, uh, basically um, and how long you're going for um, and uh, that again also helps many people I know it can be hard to dis um, to, to decide what to wear especially um, if the country that you're traveling to um, is say uh, the UK and it has unpredictable weather and it can be hard um, but you, um, you can um, get a weather forecast um, on Google and Google the weather forecast for that particular area uh, which I do um, before I go on holiday and uh, number seven explore your backyard with uh, the UK Interrail Interrail Pass allows you to roam Europe by train there is another version called Range and Rover in the UK offers unlimited travel within a particular area across a, a certain time window and uh, there's 96 options um, in the UK to choose from um, which is really good wide variety number eight ask for free upgrade and um, get in touch with the hotel or accommodation before and tell you why you would why you're excited to stay and you would like a free upgrade there's all that uh, always that if you contact the hotel beforehand and uh, number nine um go with a group also to save money at uh, last but not least number 10 search for a disney alternative second most popular theme park in europe after disneyland paris is europa park germany with its uh, nearby campsite um offering cost effective options even in school holidays or head to Poland and try its uh, biggest theme park Energy Land or Energy Gia Land uh, uh, where standard adult tickets cost from just £39 um, and that is in a high season in the summer and that's a lot cheaper again than at Disneyland Paris so I would like to say thank you for watching and bye for now and I'll see you tomorrow uh, for my travel and my lifestyle uh, channels improvements updates and more so please keep watching and bye for now thank you bye